So I just want to highlight for our audience, which is primarily a, a science-leaning audience rather than engineering-leaning, tell me the value of failure. Let's just start there. I'll answer that with a quick story, which is a lot of legacy government and NASA programs have this failure is not an option moniker to them. And what that means is to have infinitely low risk requires infinitely high cost. And so that's not how a lot of commercial startups and businesses have formed in the last decade or so, because instead there's a different approach in engineering where we want to actually break it because we want to see where the design fails and what we don't know yet and what we need to fix. And I think a lot of the legacy NASA programs have suffered at times because they've had to try to get everything right on the first go. And that's a pretty tall order. It, it, that's why these aerospace programs have taken so much longer than anybody ever wanted from a schedule wise or from a cost standpoint. So I and think Elon in, in the early days was very visible with his rocket failures. And he made, he made a very important point at every turn. We're gonna learn, learn something from this. And, uh, but the value is if, you, if your company or organizational culture accepts failure, then you will actually get to the end product much faster. That's an, that, there it is right there.